We got fake GTA 6 before real GTA 6. I'm not even joking. I'll be explaining what's going on, what you need to be aware about, and more all in this video today. And half of the reason I wanted to make this video was to sort of serve as a PSA because I just want to give you a heads up. A lot of people are going to start using this as fake leaked gameplay for GTA 6. But apparently it's an actual real game that's being developed. And I actually had to do a good bit of research on it to find out what's going on. And it's a game that looks like it straight up ripped off GTA 6. In fact, they literally did. And it almost looks like they're sort of combining The Sims as well. So the game is called Paradise, and it's being developed by a group called Ultra Games Limited. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. It doesn't really feel like a video game development website, that's for sure. It feels like a weird social portal slash cryptocurrency exchange site. I don't know, there's just something really off about it. Again, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But as far as the description of this studio, Ultra Games Limited, and their description sounds like it's written by AI, our studio, a powerhouse in-game development, leverages the talents of our international team to redefine standards of innovation in gaming. Each project demonstrates our commitment to excellence and our passion for creating compelling, immersive experiences. That really didn't say anything. That just sounded like a massive word salad of AI and things that you would strive to do while making a video game. But anyways, getting on to the point about what this game is and how it is essentially fake GTA 6, I did some research and apparently... They have a YouTube channel where they have uploaded some trailers. And the description on their YouTube channel is real open world game based on AI. And they actually just joined a couple of months ago on June 21st, 2024. And they've got two videos up, two trailers, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. They also have a social media account that sort of describes the game as well and shows off a handful of different clips that you can look at and the various different things you'd be able to do in the game itself. Again, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But anyways, I wanna show you a few clips from the trailer so you can get an idea of what it looks like here. And honestly, it doesn't look bad. It looks like a pretty realistic open world that has a lot of Grand Theft Auto elements to it. It's got super fast cars. It's got, you know, realistic looking NPCs, shops and stores, things that you can interact with. It does say that the game is currently in development and all content is subject to change. And you sort of can have interactions with pretty much anyone kind of on like a Red Dead Redemption 2-esque level that seemingly will be translated over to uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 as well. But it also has tons of vibes from like The Sims. It doesn't really feel like there's any objective to the game itself. You can essentially just do whatever you want. There isn't really any goal or enemy or common cause. I mean, they do end up showing some footage of you combating other people, but it just seems really, really strange. It's almost like it's taking the best of Grand Theft Auto and the best of The Sims and trying to put it into one single game. And so after seeing some of the clips in that trailer, you might be saying to yourself, okay, that game is trying to be like Grand Theft Auto, it's trying to be like The Sims, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really seemingly copy it. In fact, it's using a different engine, the Unreal Engine, which Rockstar Games has their own Rockstar Advanced game engine. However, a trailer that they just put out like a couple of hours ago when I am recording this video. It's called Gameplay Teaser Beach and Ocean Paradise. And this is where things get really strange. And I'm almost pointing this out with a little bit of caution because I feel like this company is going to get in some serious trouble for this. But anyways, it starts on this beach scene right here. And really quickly, before we even go any further, I want you guys to look at the umbrellas on the left. They are those white and blue umbrellas, and they sort of have an interweaving S logo on the blue part that says Soul Sisters, and on the white portion, it says Vice Beach. So it looks like they have taken this directly from GTA 6. Now, I don't know how they would have done that, considering the game is not out, 
And considering Rockstar is probably not sharing their in-game assets, that feels so weird. So did they just rip that from the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer, which in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can actually see those exact same umbrellas in the beach scene uh, in the GTA 6 trailer. So of course, something like that is going to be copyrighted by Rockstar Games. And the assets that they have are also completely made up. It's not like Soul Sisters is a brand that just someone could grab online. In fact, it's actually a parody of a umbrella company or a beach company that sets up umbrellas in Miami called Boucher Brothers. So that is Rockstar Games' own individual like parody company that they've created. And this company, Paradise Game, has seemingly put it in their title. So that's where I think that things are going to get really interesting because that is a direct rip from GTA 6. And it's the reason why I'm saying we got fake GTA 6 before we got real GTA 6. So all of this is super confusing to me. If you look at the description of their latest trailer, it says this footage is captured directly from in-game play. Welcome to the Paradise game where the excitement of GTA meets the intricate world building of Sims, all enhanced by advanced technology, ESRB rating pending, may contain content inappropriate for children. And a lot of the comments, if you go to that, are super skeptical, like people saying, no way people believe this is real. Everyone's saying it looks terrible and that the animations are awful. And honestly, people believe it's a fake game and it might be. So I just want to warn you guys as well that if you do try and like pre-order or pre-purchase this for whatever reason, there's a good chance you might not get this game at all. It just looks super sketchy and it, it honestly sounds like a scam in some way, shape or form. But that's also part of why I wanted to bring this video to you guys because the itch, the need, the desire, the want for GTA 6 is reaching fever pitch levels. And because of that, people will get desperate. And if they see something that looks like GTA 6, they're probably going to be interested in it. And this certainly checks the box, not only just from the looks and the aesthetics of the city and the characters, but the fact that it also has Grand Theft Auto 6 stuff in it like the Soul Sisters Beach Umbrella, which I don't know how these guys are going to get away with that. Hopefully Rockstar catches on to it or take to Interactive. But let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. What do you think of this fake GTA 6 game? Do you think it looks better, worse, the same as Rockstar's version? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.